My next guest this morning, Letty Nowak. She is a fixture in the art community in Key West. She's gained much popularity for her distinct large oil paintings of popular figures and everyday community members. Now, her work is featured in private collections around the world. It's also shown in art galleries across the country. Her art studio here in Key West has recently reopened. It's featuring her latest collection of work entitled The Faces of Surfing. We'll be taking a deeper look at that exhibit this morning. Letty, thank you for joining me today. Thank you. All right, Letty, let's take it back just a moment. I understand that along with being an artist, you also have surfing in your blood, correct? I do, yes. Mm -hmm. My um, parents owned surf shops when I was growing up in Michigan. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, so I was always brought up in the industry. Now, were you able to surf in Michigan? <laughs> <laughs> Only if there was a lot of wind on Lake Michigan. But, um, so not too much, uh -huh. but I spent a lot of time in the waves and in the water as much as I possibly could. All right. Now, have you always been into art, Letty? Yes, from as long as I can remember. Have you always been doing portraits? No, I started portraits um, specifically in college. Well, you do amazing at your portraits, oh, Letty. Thank you. How did Key West come into your life? Um, because I was growing up in Michigan, and my parents had the, the surf shops in a resort town, mm -hmm. I was used to the feeling, I think, of a resort town and how it all worked. And to me, Key West was this great little island with all kinds of people from all over the world. That was a resort town, not just four months out of the year, like it would be in Michigan, but all year round. Mm -hmm. So you were able to really gain a lot of inspiration then here in Yeah, US. even from the light, from the surroundings, from the people I met. My first um, group of paintings in Key West really focused on the Key West light. Mm -hmm. So that those first 10 have a lot of contrast because I was so excited to be, to be feeling that. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things you gained a lot of popularity for here in Key West was the faces of Key West. I have that book this morning. <laughs> Tell me about some of the people that we can see in this book, Letty. You can actually see um, some really legendary figures, which I was able to photograph and get to know a little bit, like Wilhelmina Harvey mm -hmm. and um, Captain Tony. He's on the cover. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's so, also little bits of everybody in there, um, people who are are still living here today who are members of the community that are really making a difference and mm -hmm. so I like it so you do have a little bit of everybody you have some popular figures but then you have just everyday community members. yeah because for me everybody made up Key West mm -hmm. and I thought that was really important now did this lead you Letty to do the faces of surfing yes mm -hmm. and tell me about the faces of surfing who's all in this collection <laughs> it's kind of actually taking shape similar to the, um, how the faces of Key West grew. Mm -hmm. So it started as a few different people and then I, through painting them, I would get ideas from other people mm -hmm. and so I would do some research and ask the next group of people who I was going to paint. Mm -hmm. So the first ones that I started with um, were industry leaders in the surfing industry like Bob Hurley, who brought Billabong to the United States and now owns the brand Hurley. Um, the brand Volcom, he was one of my first portraits. His name is Richard Wolcott. Um, I kind of started within the industry, just because that's what I was really familiar with from mm -hmm. the surf shops in Michigan. How many people are in the Faces of Surfing collection, Letty? Um, hopefully, it'll be similar to the Faces of Key West. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm shooting for 100 with a book afterwards. Wow. And uh, right now there's um, about 20 painted. 20 painted, okay. Uh -huh. So do you always constantly have new names coming in your head of people that always. you want included? <laughs> yeah, and I, and I want it to be kind of more worldwide too. I haven't even really gotten into the other countries, mm -hmm. you know, that sort of route as well. Great. So your plan for the Faces of Surfing is to really expand it, not just here in our country, but, but all over the world. Right. So the, the way the Faces of Key West came about and the way that it grew is I did um, four different exhibitions which added up to 100 paintings in the end. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm kind of taking that model and doing four different exhibitions with the Faces of Surfing but showing them in California was the first one, second one will be in New York, third in Europe and then fourth in Australia. 
awesome letty and people can see some of those paintings right here in key west at your art studio yeah so to kind of get back to my roots and where it all started i reopened my gallery the lemonade stand art studio mm -hmm. um, in bahama village which is where it originated from and that has been such a cool experience to like be back in key west have the faces of surfing featured here mm -hmm. and just have an outlet for them always to be available to the Key West community. Is it just your work in the studio or do you have some other artists as well? Um, I will have some other artists. Right mm -hmm. now um, there's an artist up al along the side of me um, with my work named Sharon Magali. Mm -hmm. okay. but it'll be both. Okay, great. Now, Letty, I have to ask, you've done Faces of Surfing, you've done Faces of Key West. Do you have Faces of Another Place <laughs> or thing that you want to be doing? Actually, I'm pretty content right now, I think. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm sure that'll come sooner than later, but... Right, right. Yeah. Well, you've got a lot of more people, it sounds like, that you want in this Faces of yeah. Surfing. So, Well, at the end of the show this morning, we're actually going to show a video that was put together, and it kind of explains the Faces of Surfing a little bit, would you say? Yeah, I think it, um, the person who did it pretty much nailed it. Yeah, he did yeah. awesome. It's a, it's a great video. So, oh, Letty, thanks. thank you for being on thank this you. morning. Everybody can check out your work at the Lemonade Stand Gallery. Oh, yes, okay. on Petronia Street. Great. <laughs> and make sure that you stay for the end of the show because I'll be showing a video of the faces of surfing. Stay with me. There's more to come today.